So in this video, we're going to be looking at ChatGPT. We're going to be looking at creating some visual content such as comic books or graphic novels out of ChatGPT because we now have these plugins enabled where we can create images out of text. We're going to get creative and actually create some sort of comic book out of our ideas. So let's go. So let's create an idea first. So the idea that I'm going to use today is sort of like, let's do shadow ninjas. They have guilds. And we're just gonna use the default first to actually create the story, by the way. So we're gonna create the story synopsis first. So we're using Shadow Ninjas, they have guilds in Japan. There is a war in between guilds. One ninja betrays guild and goes to the bad guild. The end, a war, uh, a big fight. <laughs> and peace will be restored in the end. Right, so this is the basic idea. All right, so we've got a basic for an interesting story here. All right, and it comes up with the title, comes up with the setting, main characters, stuff like that. So then it also now comes up with the plot automatically, which is amazing. So. I don't even have to go in and ask for like different chapters and stuff like that. It just automatically comes up with all that stuff for me, which is really fun. So we've got some main characters. We've got Hiroshi, the protagonist, young uh, skilled ninja, and we can keep adding to the story. So while it's generating, I could say these ninjas have like special powers such as turning hands, into fire or ice, shadow sneak attacks. Okay, so we've got two brothers. Ooh, the brothers are the ones that have the fight. So one turns evil. So then we can go back and forth with the story, sort of stretch it out and actually create something cool out of this. We've got a black viper guild cool man the black viper guild can use dark energy and they've got ancient weapon power that's pretty cool i love how it just it'll generate like creative ideas like this and once we get through the main ideas and stuff like that then we can start generating the images so now we have our basic story so what I will do is copy and paste this plot and also we want to get a small synopsis of the story. So generate a synopsis. All right, so now we have our synopsis. What I'll do is I'll copy this, go into my notes app, generate that, and then we'll actually get a plot line and some of our characters as well. I'll copy all of this text essentially. And now we can start a new chat and we can actually use Del E3, which is brand new. Copy and paste the synopsis. So I have like the setting, all the characters, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we'll copy this and we'll want to tell it to actually create the images. Otherwise it's not going to create the images for us. There we go and it'll start sort of generating some images using DAL E3, which is super exciting. So let's see what it generates. Here we go, so now we are getting some images generated. So now we have images based off what we have. So we have this cool sort of anime style here, which is really good. We have this woman with a dragon, which is super cool. We have two people here as well, one with fire in his hands, one with ice in his hands. Pretty cool stuff, I like it, I like it. So then you can download these images as well and start crafting your story. Let's then put in some plots because it now understands the story. So now we can copy some of these acts through and then you can just 
go through each and every act or each and every chapter and start creating images based off this sort of thing. Mind you, there is like a limit to how many images you can do and it'll start sort of blocking certain images after a certain amount. And also ChatGPT will block any more text after like 50 messages. So you'll have to give it a break, but you can essentially create a comic book if you just wait long enough, do each and every little detail, turn into little images essentially and create a comic book out of it. This is act one that's generating. So it's generating some really awesome images over here. As you can see, we got this sort of cool academy with two dragons, got a light side and a dark side of the mountain. So you can sort of select which image you actually like out of these. That's interesting, that one. And it says next to it what the prompt actually is. So it tell you like, you know, what, what the story is behind each image. And we can carry on. So we've done act one, act two, and it's automatically creating those images, which is really good. But also you want to prompt it to say, can you use like the same characters as you used in the last image? So it kind of creates like a bit of contingency with the last image. So you basically have these characters going through and you can go from there essentially. Oh wow, we got some really cool images. So this is based off act two. So it's saying the photo inside the Black Viper Guild Dark Training Chamber. Wow, that's cool. So we've got like some dragons coming out of this as well. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that image. So you see where I'm sort of going with this, how you can sort of really break down and create a graphic novel out of this. Because you can download these images and put them into like a Word document or a PDF. And, you know, basically when you go into real details of like what you want your image to be, then you can really like map out the comic book out of it. It'll just take a bit of time, but it's worth the time. But this is like so much fun to do. I can show you some previous ones that I've done as well. I was working on this one, which was like a shadow guild. So it says, in the heart of London, Liam has an ordinary life, attacked by shadow monsters, rescued by a secret guild that is protecting London from these dark creatures. Then he joins the guild. And then it sort of generates all these images based off of the story that I'm telling. So he's getting attacked by the shadow monster. Then he joins the guild here. And then from here, he's sort of learning about all these shadow monsters. And from here, he's sort of doing a bit of training. One problem that I had, like I said before, was when you run out of like images to be able to generate, it comes up with this and then it goes to ChatGPT3. So then I had to start over and over again with like a brand new chat, essentially, because you can't change from ChatGPT to ChatGPT4 once it's done it automatically. That's the only downside with it and you would have to start over again. But apart from that, it is a lot of fun. So hopefully this video helps you and gives you some creative ideas to sort of create some visual novels or anything like that. So like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See you guys next time.